Hello one and all and welcome back to Safe Cracker where I, Brazen Bread and Safe Cracker Extraordinaire, am here to crack some safes. And it's been a while. It has been a gosh darn a long time since I've uh, I've played this. Because uh, I, I stopped in December, cause Christmas holidays and all that's been, been hectic. And I'm only now starting to find time again to do a bit of recording here and there. But I hope to have this game cracked, so to speak within a next episode or two we shall see how we do let's see where we stand in our map we've got the two safes up in the loft which we discovered I believe last episode we have one two three on the second floor and one on the ground floor yes okay so so that's what four five six there's six safes to crack Let's see how long it takes us to do that. Now I've forgotten completely that this is like all mouse based. Um, I've got a bunch of clues here. A bit of paper with the code. L equals E, which I think we've used. Have we used all of these? Ooh, no, I can pick that up. Okay, so we've got this one here, which has these uh, sort of movable bits and bobs. This central one seems to be the core, where this green flow starts. And uh, I'm assuming we have to direct this flow uh, through through the entire oops through the entire um, a pattern. I'm guessing. Um, I don't know. Let's let's see. We let's see how we can connect these things up. This is going to be a dead end. If you have played oh, entrapment, entanglement, which is a a, a what you call it? It's one of these Chrome games. This is quite similar in a sense. You're ma making patterns across squares, but these all dead ends. There's no power outlets anywhere that I can see. So it's not like we have to direct it somewhere. I think we just have to have this thing loop all the way around. So this is not a bad start. We've, we this is not a bad start at all. So this is going to connect up to there. This one will connect it R uh, no? Oh no it won't, sorry, it has to connect over there, which is no good. How about if we can no, if we connect this to itself, maybe? Oh yes, okay, great. This is linked up a whole bunch more. So we can cross over the flow, the streams. That is no good. So we what does this one do? Oh <laughs> right. Okay. And this one we can't do anything with. Can only go there. Apologies for that uh, interruption there. I was rudely interrupted by my entire family just running into my room asking for all sorts of crap. I, I don't even know anymore. <sighs> anyway, let's see. Um, what are we doing? I've lost, com completely lost track here. We are building up this pipe system which is going quite well so far I, I do declare I think we may be on the right track here look one more uh, and now what <laughs> we have connected up all the dots um, oh there we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Problem solved. Fantastic. Uh -huh. We have a note. With a little more effort, my will could be yours. Hmm. It's signed Duncan W. Adams. All right. A little more, more effort, is it? We've obtained a... What? Uh, how do I get my... Here we go. A carved stone block. And I can't look at it, but it looks like it's got some sort of crypto pattern on it. I see one, two, three, four, and the numbers. It's a grid. A to Z. Is that all that's in here? It is. Okay. Here we have a chessboard, actually. That's right. I remember this. Um, six. There's a, a symbol here. And this piece up here. Can't I? No. See, it's got the same sort of shape with the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, the one, two, three, four, five, six. So we would have to somehow figure out the pattern here. There was, oh, I remember seeing something happen when I clicked two blocks and they both stayed in. That could have be that could be a clue. 
Six king. Hmm. Interesting one. Interesting one. And just like that, the audio disappears. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit strange. Okay. Uh, what? Hello. They both. They both stayed down. Hello. What? Why is this both staying down? Look at this. But this then. Okay, so they are not allowed to be in the same column. Maybe because it's like check. That would be checkmate. This is not checkmate, as neither is that. Must I maybe get a pattern set up here where nothing looks at anything else? Everything is sort of on its own its own square, you know, not in not in some sort of direct line sight or diagonal too. So like that and that would not work. This and this would work, but we cannot have one here because it's in line of sight there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so no line of sight. So something like that would create these ones all safe. And then we can't put one in this row. Or this row, or this row now. So those rows. But now in the columns, we can't have it next to. We, oh, we can't have it in this row at all. So we'll put one in this row. Now we can't have one next to it or in this row here. So we could put one here. Oh, but we can't use these columns either. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. What have we got? We obtained a triple key. Oh, it's a triple key. I remember where we had to go to the triple key. Let's go. It was downstairs somewhere. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's scooch along to the purple room, I think it was. There was a, thir a second triple key. And here. Yes. All right. Triple key. In you go. Thank you very much. We have opened up the door. Another door? <laughs> How many of them are there? Of course. More triple keys. I don't understand. Uh, Alright. Is there anything else here that could be of interest? It does not look like it. It looks like we need more triple keys, which I guess are coming from the other safes. Okay. Well, we're, we're slowly progressing here. Let's have a look-see. We're still in red square over here where we uh, have to open up this next triple key door. Um, we have the stone carving, which looks like... Actually, there was a shape. But wait, didn't I do that one? I forgot it. It's been such a while. I apologize for that. This Once the series is over, um, which will be a good thing, there are some more things I've got planned for this year. Uh, which you will see as they come. We shall see how I do. Uh, I can't say that serious recording will only begin in late February, um, as the folks are still here and hanging around and, and it's still being kept busy. So, serious recording next year. Yes, of course. It's a Polybius Square. <laughs> Polybius Square, obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. We've, we can't uh, we can't click on any of these things, but we can see the numbers here. We've got one five. One five is like V, which means nothing, actually. Maybe we have to go down one, then across five. One two three. No. Fifteen. What the hell is a Polybius square? Hmm. I need to think about this. Alright, I'm back. I had to actually sk step away there for a second and find out what exactly is a Polybius square. Um, Polybius, however you like to say that. Um, it was actually a hint to actually go learn something. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. I promise I wasn't cheating. I just googled Polybius square. And what I came up with was a wiki page that uh, talked about this cryptography method used in ancient uh, Greek times um, where you have this grid like we have here uh, where you throw the alphabet in and you've got numbers 1 to 5 and you use these numbers to uh, create words out of it so for instance this 1 5 means first row fifth column 
which is an E. So I'm just going to grab my pen and paper and we can step through this quickly together. The first, oh, and the two numbers make up a word, a letter, sorry. So this, 3, 4, 3, 4 is an O. So we've got O, then 3, 3 is an N. Um, 1, 5 is an E, so that spells out 1, and 4, 4 is a T. And then we've got 5, 2, which is a W. We've got 3, 4, which is an O. 4, 3, which is an S. And uh, a 2, 4, which is I or J. I or J. Then, 5, 3, we're now up here. 5, 3. So 5, 3 is an X. Uh, 2, 1 is an F. Uh, oh, it's spelling out words here. I see 1, 2, 6, and then, so where are we? F, that's 21, 2, 4. 2, here 4 is an IJ again. I or J, so it must be 5. And then 5, 1 is a V, and the last one is an E. And that spells out 1, 2, six five so one two six five voila excellent fantastic another triple key obtained brilliant we are cruising through some of these i hope you don't think i was cheating there i was merely googling a polybius square i genuinely I never heard of it, and I must say, I've, I'm quite a fan of cryptogra uh, cryptography. I can't speak anymore. I used to actually write a lot of texts on various forms of cryptography, uh, starting off with the most basic, which is the Caesar shift, uh, which many might know of. It's probably one of the most common ones. Uh, and I moved on to further forms of cryptography and how they worked. Uh, many old school ones that you could decode things with. Um, Anyway, though, that's long in my past when I was into more of the, uh, what is the PC term for this? Um, like computer security and, uh, and, 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 you know, that sort of field of stuff. Computer security, let's call it. Pen testing is the proper word for it. Penetration testing, not in the dirty sense. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. We have two more safes. We have one more triple key obtained. And then we've got this blue bedroom. What was in the blue bedroom? I, f I, f I forgot. I forget. Let's go pop our head in there and see. It was something to do with this this box. Oh, yes. So. Oh, I, I remember we sort of got close. We have to type in a code. We have to reset it when we hit the top. I think we have to hit... No? Numbers are not doing anything now. So we cannot hear anything. Which So it's not activating this up here. If we hit hash, doesn't do anything. Hit a star, doesn't do anything. Zero, doesn't do anything. We got the speakerphone. Oh, that's right. This is a game of... Freaking, what's it? Um, mind. Uh, mind something or other. <laughs> mind, my, not Minesweeper. Oh, good gracious. Uh, okay. Oh, so it checks. We don't have to do it every time. And we got two of them correct. That was like nine and six. I'm not sure how how this works. Now everything's flashing red and we start over. There's seven, three, two, one, nothing there. Eight, nine, six, five. Ooh. Eight nine six. So six was definitely correct. Eight and nine are correct numbers. Eight, nine, six, and five is wrong, so four has to be in there. Eight, nine, six, and five was wrong, so something there 
So we need like maybe four, six, eight, nine. Okay. Four, six, eight, nine was correct. Six was not. Eight, nine. Oh, eight, nine, six. I did it the wrong way around. So, so that means eight, nine, six. We put in four, four. So eight, four, six, nine. Eight, four, six, nine. Ah. Oh. Eight, four, four, six, nine is correct. Eight is not correct. One. Did I? Ha I haven't done one yet, have I? One, four, six, nine. Crap! Crap! Ah! I didn't get it. Uh, so now it's all changed. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Four is a possibility. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Six and seven. And six is in the right place. Six, seven, four. Okay. So six is in the right place. So then we got nine and zero. So we need one more. So we need something. Six, zero, four. Something. Six, zero, four. What was that? Z nine. So nine is nine. Nine must come in here. So we need maybe four, six, nine, seven. It's the wrong way around. Ah. Uh, this is the last last go. That was four, four, six, nine, seven. That didn't work. Seven must wasn't there. So seven must come first, followed by six, mm, four, and then nine. Oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes, got it. <laughs> Obtained a chip card, a chip card, and a note. Ooh, a letter from Margaret. Let's read what Margaret has to say. Dear brother, my dear brother Walter, I'm writing to let you know how glad I am to see you are leaving the hustle and bustle of the business world and devoting yourself to a more peaceful life. We would like to point out to you that we did not like at all the image you were portraying of our fine Scottish family. I know you do not like me calling you Walter and that you prefer to keep your middle name secret, but I think it is a shame to reject one's name. Your sister, Margaret. Now, what could this have to do with the price of eggs? I ask you. Okay, so. We've got one key for this door. We need to get one more. We have got the loft completed, the basement completed, the ground floor. And than the violet bedroom. I think that is actually quite a good place to end off. It's a bit of a shorter episode than usual, I know. I could push through to the end, but I think we'll make one more episode, uh, the grand finale, where we crack the final safe there on the ground floor, head upstairs, crack the one safe here by the violet bedroom, and hopefully the will and testament of our good friend, uh, whatever his name is, uh, is in there. So yeah, I think that would be good. Um, I must say, uh, it's been quite an inter interesting ride. Um, th the puzzles are quite unique, each one of them in its own way. Um, and yeah, it's got a nice little Cluedo vibe to it. And uh, quite chuffed when I can actually sit down and within a short period of time uh, crack the puzzle, which is there before me. It's a good feeling. Anyway, enough babbling from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, Aha, oh. well spotted. That wasn't easy. Hmm, it's signed Duncan W. Adams. <laughs> okay, a little note I just missed over there. Anyway, it didn't say anything important. So, as I was saying, thank you for watching. Please do hit a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other content. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on at the moment. And I will see you next week for the hopefully final episode of safe cracker and until then uh, lots of love bye And one on the ground floor. Yes. Okay. So, so that's what.
four, five, six. There's six safes to crack. Let's see how long it takes us to do that. Now I've forgotten completely that this is like all mouse based. Um, I've got a bunch of clues here. A bit of paper with the code. L equals E, which I think we've used. Have we used all of these? Ooh, no, I can pick that up. Okay, so we've got this one here, which has these uh, sort of movable bits and bobs. This central one seems to be the core, where this green flow starts. And uh, I'm assuming we have to direct this flow, have this thing loop all the way around. So this is not a bad start. We've, we've This is not a bad start at all. So this is going to connect up to there. This one will connect it up. No? Oh no it won't. Sorry, it has to connect over there, which is no good. How about if we can no if we connect this to itself maybe? Oh yes, okay, great. This is linked up a whole bunch more. So we can cross over the flow, the streams. That is no good. So we what does this one do? Oh <laughs> right. Okay. And this one we can't do anything with. Can only go there. Hello one and all and welcome back to Safe Cracker. Where I, Brazen Braden, Safe Cracker Extraordinaire, I'm here to crack some safes. And now it's been a while. It has been a gosh darn a long time since I've uh, I've played this. Because uh, I, I stopped in December, cr Christmas holidays and all that's been, been hectic. And I'm only now starting to find time again to do a bit of recording here and there. But I hope to have this game cracked, so to speak within a next episode or two we shall see how we do let's see where we stand in our map we've got the two safes up in the loft which we discovered i believe last episode we have one two three on the second floor uh... through through the entire oops through the entire uh, pattern i'm guessing um, i don't know Let's let's see. We let's see how we can connect these things up. This is going to be a dead end. If you have played uh, Entrapment, Entanglement, which is a, a a what you call it, it's one of these Chrome games. This is quite similar in a sense. You're ma making patterns across squares, but these all dead ends. There's no power outlets anywhere that I can see. So it's not like we have to direct it somewhere. I think. We just have to apologies for that uh, interruption there. I was rudely interrupted by my entire family just running into my room asking for all sorts of crap. I, I don't even know anymore. <sighs> anyway, let's see. Um, what are we doing? I've lost com completely lost track here. We are building up this pipe system which is going quite well so far, I, I do declare. I think we may be on the right track here. Look. One more. Uh, and now what? <laughs> we have connected up...